Hello, I'm going to be speed coding another game today. I'm going to be doing a sort of rhythm game with the arrow keys. I'm going to try and do this one in under an hour today. It's going to be a longer one than the last one. Um, uh, I'm doing the video slightly differently this time. There'll be two versions. There'll be the unedited video, which will go up first, and then there'll be an edited version, which I should get down to just a few minutes with large portions sped up. Um, so, here I go. Okay, first I need all the general beginning setup stuff. Uh, okay, uh, next I need to make uh, some class for arrows that can draw. Okay, I'll need, a, I'll need an arrow shape, and then I'll need um, this will be the shape that's drawn that's showing what needs to will be coming next at the bottom, yes, and then uh, yeah, and then there'll be no, no, I'll just have one, I'll just have the arrows that come down as a class, and then I'll just have like a line for when you have to press it. Okay, I need an update function. Okay, the, the update function needs to return a boolean. Uh, yes, to detect whether it's hit the line. Yes, it'll return a boolean to determine when it's hit the line itself. Yes. No. No, no, the detection has to happen for whichever's next on the key presses. No, it doesn't happen. It doesn't matter where the key is itself. It doesn't matter where the arrow is itself. Ah, uh, you did remind myself exactly how shapes work. Okay, I need to glow over for the, uh, for the arrow shape. I've got a basic arrow class now and I've got the shape. I'm just going to test if it's rendering okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, maybe, but it might be incredibly small. Uh, okay. Okay, let's try it scale. Okay, it's a little bit misshapen. I uh, just need to shrink it a bit. That should look okay. Yeah, uh, sort of. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let's make this an array of arrows now. Uh, okay, just need to something to trigger it to um, uh, spawn one every so often. Okay, this should add a new one every second. Yeah, that seems to be working. Pretty. Okay, check a line is drawing there now. Uh, okay. 
Okay, now to randomize the uh, arrow directions. Modifying the uh, arrow constructor to take in a direction, which will be randomized uh, when, when they're generated after a certain interval. Okay, hopefully that should work. Right, downs, ups, any lefts? Yeah, I've got a left. Okay. Next, I need to be able to press and have a score. Okay, I'm going to use a max distance, so there's a certain amount of leeway you can have when pressing a key. Okay, I think it would be better to change the uh, values that are stored for the direction of the arrow to the same as the uh, input uh, defined values for up, down, left, and right. The consistency. Ah, actually, no, that's not going to work. Oh, wait, it will work. Okay, I'm just going to check that all the directions uh, match up correctly, how they should. Okay, they don't. Oh, it wasn't working because I had the uh, denominator as an integer for the division when I was rotating my tau times something over four. That was correct. Down is correct. Left is correct. And right is correct. Okay, this should work now. The arrow should disappear if I press the right one and not disappear if I press the wrong one or out of the correct range. So, okay, it's just better. Oh, I was, out, I was out of range. I was using the size instead of the size minus one to index the last elements. Okay. Okay, I'll try again. Try making the range larger to check that's working correctly. Okay. Try printing a value instead of removing it from the array. Okay. Okay, it's not rem it's not detecting that as a hit. Okay, I'm going to try printing out the distance between the, the bar and the arrow. Okay, that's too large. Something's gone wrong with the position. Okay, the position's really not correct, or it's accessing it strangely. Might be accessing the array incorrectly. Oh, of course, I need to access the zeroth element, not the last element. Still not removing it correctly. Hmm. I just realized 
the arrows aren't changing direction correctly. I need to make sure it removes the uh, last element regardless and do score tracking. Okay, let's check if that works. Okay, okay it removes regardless, good. Okay, I need it to remove if it goes past the line. Okay, that should be good now. Okay, down, up, down, right, 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 right. Let's get it wrong once. There you go, I got it wrong. Okay, the multiplier seems to work okay. Every four. Okay, and if it goes past. It crashes. Okay. Uh, nearly out of time. Okay, update, do, update does need to return a boolean. Okay. Oh dear, nothing's happening now. Oh, it needs to go down. Moves it regardless. Good. Right. Down. Do nothing. Okay, it's not. Wait, hold on. Yes, okay. Let's shorten that margin a bit. Uh, 50. That's a score. That isn't. Oh wait, there it is. Okay, that seems good. Okay. Stop. Okay. Uh, this now has a score. Um, if I press too early or I press the wrong key, uh, it the score doesn't go up. So I press right here, it doesn't go up. If I press down here, it does go up. The multiplier goes up by one, all the way up to eight. If um, you get for every four consecutive correct key presses, and if I, don't, if I miss and don't press anything, the multiplier also goes back down to zero, more to one. Okay. Uh, I realised while making this, I'm not going to have an unedited version because I was repeating things I was saying to try and get them right and I realised 